Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how you can connect a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller wirelessly to your gaming PC and use it to play games. With Nintendo taking the gaming market by storm with their Switch hybrid console, I'm sure quite a lot of you may have picked one up. I think that Nintendo's consoles have always done a good job at complementing gaming PCs, as I prefer to play AAA third-party titles like Battlefield, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, or GTA on PC, but absolutely enjoy playing first-party games from Nintendo's library. Now along with the Nintendo Switch, you may have also picked up their Pro Controller. This is a controller that looks quite like your traditional controller, very similar to the Xbox One controller. In my humble opinion, I believe this is Nintendo's best controller to date. It's very comfortable, feels good in the hands, the button layout is straightforward, and it has a pretty sleek yet simple design that just works. I for one cannot stand the Joy-Cons because they make my hands all cramped up and sore. Long gaming sessions were just not tolerable, so I'm glad Nintendo gave us more options to work with, and the Pro Controller solved all the issues I had with the Joy-Cons. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller simply uses Bluetooth to connect to the Switch, Therefore, you could leverage its connection method and connect it to your gaming PC. Now what I find quite sad is the fact that even today, there are still motherboards on the market that cost several hundred dollars, have a plethora of RGB LEDs, but still don't have a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter. So that is where this little USB dongle comes in. This is the Aventry DG40S Bluetooth 4.0 USB dongle that works natively with Windows 10. I'll have links down below to where you can purchase one. To set it up, simply plug this into a USB port on your PC. Windows 10 will detect it and download the drivers automatically for you, and that's it. However, make sure you don't plug this into a USB 3.1 Type-A port, because for some reason, even though the Bluetooth icon was showing up on my PC, it wasn't able to find any parable devices. This was solved by removing it and plugging it into a standard USB 3.0 port. Once set up, you should see a Bluetooth icon appear in your system tray. Double click the Bluetooth icon and it will open your Bluetooth and other devices menu. Simply click on add Bluetooth or other device and it will pop up another menu. Click on Bluetooth device and it will start searching for discoverable devices. Now in order for it to find your Switch Pro Controller, simply just press and hold the sync button at the top until you see the lights flashing on the bottom of the controller. Then the USB adapter should find the Pro Controller and all you have to do is click pair. Now for me, it's not going to show that because I have already paired it up with my gaming PC. And that's it! Your Pro Controller should now be paired wirelessly with your gaming PC. Now you can use the Pro Controller on popular platforms like Steam, which does have support for it now, which I think is excellent. Another thing that I like to do is revisit some of my favorite Nintendo games by running them through emulators. I think it's great that we have emulators because we can play some of our favorite games from the past or even recent ones, plus take advantage of our PC's hardware to further boost the experience by running the games at higher resolutions, better textures, or even do some crazy mods. So as you guys can see here, I'm playing Hyrule Warriors on my PC at 1440p, 60fps with my Pro Controller and it's been working flawlessly. Now you know what I love the most about using my Pro Controller on my PC? It makes button mapping so much easier, because if you were to use an Xbox One or PS4 controller, you have to memorize what certain buttons do, what you set circle as, or what A does when it's actually flipped around on the Xbox controller. I know the layouts are practically the same and you can rely on muscle memory, but having to simply set A as A or ZR as ZR is convenient and I know it's a minor thing, but to me this goes a long way. So that wraps up this video, I hope you all found this informative and enjoyable, and if you did then hit that like button. Leave your questions, thoughts down below, and if you're interested in seeing more content like this then make sure you're subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.